Welcome to Mastering Math. My name is Julia Cox and today the focus is going to be on fractions. The tick that we're going to be uh, talking about today is 4.3 G. Represent fractions and decimals to the tens or hundreds as distance from zero on a number line. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The decimal form of this would be 69 hundredths. The fraction would be 69 out of 100. Decimal form 37, fraction 37 out of 100. Decimal form 46, and fraction 46 out of 100. And as you can see, this is in tens, but we're going to, so this would be 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents and then one whole dollar. So when you see that they're going to have it like that and you have to go ahead and write the zero in because we're talking about this is pennies and that's a dime. So we're trying to get to 69 hundreds. So here we have the tick. They're showing us 60. So we're going to count 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 66, 67, 68, 69. So we have 69. So it's going to be the decimal is 69, and then it's going to be the fraction of 69 out of 100. Because it says that you need to uh, represent the fraction and the decimals. And we're representing the, the decimal and the fraction, the decimal and fraction of 69 hundredths. So now let's do the next one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents, and one whole dollar. We're trying to get to 37. So we start at the 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So exact location. We make our point on the number line. We have decimal 60, or I'm sorry, we have the decimal of 37. Just about messed up there. Decimal of 37 hundredths. And now I have to do the fraction of 37 hundredths. Now the next one we need to do is 46 hundredths. If you want to stop the video and try this one on your own, make the number line and see if you can locate it, uh, the exact location on the number line and do the decimal and the fraction of it, that would be great. I'm going to go ahead and get started. 10, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents, and one whole dollar. And I'm looking for 46 cents. So 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have decimal 46 and fraction 46 out of 100. I hope this uh, has been helpful for you for hundreds. I'm going to allow him to go ahead and zoom in on that so you can take a look at that. And then I'm going to uh, change this out for the next one that you need to do. So this is pennies, representing in pennies. We actually have, we could say six, six dimes and nine pennies, or we can say um, two quarters, one dime and nine pennies. However you want to do it, but we're talking about 69 cents in total. Now I'm going to go ahead and erase this one and begin on the next one. So we just did the hundreds. Now we're going to do the tenths. Of course, I wrote, I erased the fraction because we have to represent that too. Just place a piece of tape on there because we've got to make sure that this 
lines up correctly or it'll be sliding back and forth. We don't want that. Right. So the numbers we're going to do this time. All right, so the decimal form, we're going to say um, seven. And the fraction of that would be seven out of 10 because we're talking about dimes. Then we could say five. Five out of 10 would be the fraction. And then we can say, Thank you for taking the time to watch the video and have a wonderful evening.